Hello guys, it's Ashley and I am so excited for today's video. I recorded an entire week of me eating. There are so many awesome recipes that I am super, super excited to share with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Good morning, we're having pancakes this morning. I'm gonna start by showing you guys how to make it, obviously. So I'm gonna be first starting by taking a banana and then we're gonna smash it up. Then we're gonna add some soy milk. This recipe, like, you don't need exact measurements for. A splash of apple cider vinegar. A tablespoon of flax seeds. And then just let this sit for maybe four or five minutes. Drinking some water. In the meantime, protein powder. By the way, this is a protein powder that I use. It's from Care of, it's a vanilla flavor. I have probably like a cup and a half of blended flour. Just gonna add a little bit of nutmeg and a good amount of cinnamon. Mix that through as well. Honestly, a good tip for making these is the thicker the batter, the better. Okay, and you know that they're ready to flip when it looks like they're kind of starting to get done on the top, I guess. That pancake is slightly dark. This is how many pancakes that the batter made. Literally a whole circle of pancakes, so I'll probably eat half of it and then save the other half. They save really nicely in the fridge. You can just heat them up in the microwave. So here is my lovely breakfast. I also have some frozen blueberries that I microwave. They're like really liquidy. Then I have peanut butter. My jar is like almost empty. We're gonna use some forager cashew gurt. This one's the vanilla flavor. It's so good. That's so good, especially with the yogurt. A little bit messy to eat, but it's really good. Okay guys, I changed my clothes and I am about to go on a picnic with my boyfriend. So yeah, it's a little bit chilly, so I gotta wear a thick jacket, but. Okay, now I'm eating some sour bunnies. These are my favorite, they're so good. Then we went to Chipotle for dinner, and look at how adorable this is. They wrote my name in cursive. I literally love it. It tastes really good today. I don't know why it tastes really good. It today. tastes so good today. Why does it taste so the good? The corn's so good today. Yeah, like there's some like the corn tastes so good. It's just brown rice, black beans, mild salsa, extra corn, guac, and extra lettuce, and it's amazing. Now I also brought these with me so we can have them for dessert. Aren't they pretty good? Mm -hmm. Then I'm just having some popcorn for a snack, literally just plain popcorn. And then this is a really weird snack that I eat, but it's just tomatoes and balsamic vinaigrette. Wait, it's not vinaigrette, it's literally just balsamic vinegar. Call me gross, I don't care. I just worked out with Amber, and now I'm gonna go drink some coconut juice because it just tastes so good after you work out. <laughs> This one is the best coconut juice. I don't know why I call it coconut juice, coconut water. Next morning for breakfast, I'm just having a green smoothie, just some frozen bananas, frozen mango, frozen pineapple, spinach, hemp seeds, some soy milk. Blend it all up. Okay, I just remembered that I have this. I hope this doesn't make this taste really gross. It tastes fine, it just tastes like, it just tastes like there's more chlorophyll. Okay, drinking just plain hot water cause I'm bored, I mean cause I'm cold. Okay, and then just for a little lunch, we are having a yogurt bowl, it's like my most favorite thing to make. I'm also using Kamu Puff, they are delicious. You can get them at like Whole Foods or maybe even your regular grocery store. Blueberries, some strawberries, some bananas, a little bit of hemp seeds, and a splash of soy milk. It is delicious, literally it is delicious. It's so pretty outside, I really wanna go on a walk. I literally wanna walk every single day, if I can, if the weather permits it. it. Literally, it keeps me sane, and it's just really nice to get out of the house. Whenever I go on walks, I always like to listen to audiobooks. I just want to thank Audible so much for partnering with me on this video. If you don't know what Audible is, they have a ton of different audiobooks. I literally have it as like an app on my phone. So right now, I'm reading The Martian by Andy Muir. I like just started. But yeah, listening to audiobooks, it just helps to reduce your stress, I feel like, in times like these. Since we're all at home, they want to give you guys some more content that you can enjoy. So now members can download all of the Audible originals 
Audible's monthly selection. Also right now, Audible has launched stories.audible.com. So literally anyone, anywhere can stream hundreds of free stories completely free. And you don't even need to be an Audible member to access these stories, which is super awesome. So everyone can listen to something. But yeah, if you want to check out Audible, you can check out the link down below at audible.com slash yourmomashley. Or you can text my code yourmomashley to 500-500 to get one free audiobook, unlimited Audible originals, and a 30-day free trial. Okay, once I got back home from my walk, I'm having another one of my amazing snacks of just balsamic vinaigrette and tomatoes. It's so good, I swear it's good. Then I'm having a Lara bar, this is my favorite flavor. And then for dinner, I'm making kale. I wilted down the kale and then like made like a salad bowl type of thing. Pretty good, kind of plain. I try my best, tried to make a healthy salad. I'm just using a dressing that is hummus, a little bit of mustard, some maple syrup, and just some water. Okay, and then the next day, I'm just having another green smoothie, same recipe as the day before and now for lunch we are going to be making one of my most favorite meals to make which you might have seen me make before it is a chickpea salad all right so i'm just chopping up some celery literally that's so satisfying also chopping some apples okay now i'm gonna add the chickpeas and then just kind of try to smash them a little bit on the side i like a whole bunch of raisins that should be good. I'll also add some dill. Not just some, I add a lot of dill. A little bit of adobo. This honestly, like that already tastes pretty good. Just by itself. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice so that the apples don't get like brown. Here's my lemon juice. I'm gonna make my own little bowl now and smash in some avocado. And it's gonna be so good. Squeeze in half of an avocado. I'm so sorry if this is not pleasing. Delectable. Okay, so I've now mixed the avocado through. Mm. Okay, now for dinner, I am chopping up some kale and I'm massaging it. it. Makes it a lot like easier to eat. It tastes way better if you massage your kale. It's kind of like a process, but you like to you squish it in your hands and then just giving it a good cut. I kept trying to have kale salads this week. I just don't know if I love kale salads, but we tried. So we have blueberries, quinoa, slicing up some dates. This would taste so good with like a nice vinaigrette. I didn't have any, so I just tried to make my own. Okay, now I'm having red bell peppers and I am literally dipping them in roasted red pepper hummus. And I'm also having a snack of dark chocolate. This is the raspberry dark chocolate from Trader Joe's. All right, and it is the next day already. So we are having a blue smoothie bowl. This is the spirulina that I use. Look at that, oh my God, the color change. Look at that, that is some granola, peanut butter, hemp seeds, amazing. Now this is tasty. Why is this so fluffy? This is blue spirulina. I got this on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks for this little bottle, which is kind of expensive, but it lasts a really long time and spirulina is supposed to be good for you. Mostly it just makes it really blue and I just, it's awesome. Okay, and then for lunch, I'm having pancakes. I literally love breakfast food, um, but I just added some apple cider vinegar, some bergamot extract, because I didn't have vanilla extract, into some soy milk and adding some sugar as well, some oil. Adding some lemon extract, because we're making lemon poppy seed pancakes. So I'm adding in flour, some baking powder and baking soda, cooking them like regular pancakes on the pan. Amazing. And beautiful look at oh, wow okay the pancakes are done this is how many pancakes that it made in total and I'll probably eat half of this here's my beautiful beautiful plate of pancakes the birds are going crazy now just eating some nuts as a snack and then I ate this pizza for dinner and it was amazing. It's just a box pizza from Sweet Earth or Veggie Lovers Pizza. I really like it. We are gonna try Halo Top Chocolate Almond Crunch. I had their birthday cake one and it's pretty decent, but it's like an interesting texture. This one feels more dense. This one's pretty good. This one's actually pretty good, Amber. Okay, good morning, guys. I'm just sitting out here with my little bubby. Come here. He loves to just sit on the porch. Oh my God, and I'm eating the most beautiful breakfast in the whole world. Here are some pancakes that I heated up with just some blueberries and maple syrup. I have some oranges. Yogurt mixed with chocolate protein powder it makes kind of like a chocolate sauce type of thing. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, so I changed my clothes. I'm about to go on like a walk in a little bit, so I'm wearing my like walking outfit. But right now I'm making my sister some steel cut oats that I have in the pan right now, and I'm making Andrew some pancakes. Okay, there's Andrew's wonderful breakfast and Amber's wonderful breakfast that I'm gonna bring upstairs to her because she literally probably will not come down. Okay, I just came back from my walk and now I'm going to be making some pineapple fried rice for me and my boyfriend So I'm also gonna make chicken with it. So this is the Gardein chicken scallopini and then I already made rice All right, so I'm just cooking up our fake chicken I have frozen vegetables and some frozen pineapples just heating up cutting up some basil mixing it right in there And then I'm just smashing in my rice in the pan adding some soyaki sauce This is the best sauce best sauce you have to get it's from Trader Joe's. It's so good some I think that's turmeric I added like random spices. Uh, I'm gonna assume like a little bit of curry powder, black pepper, adobo, some extra soy sauce, probably lots of garlic and onion powder as well. Throwing in my pineapple and mixed vegetables and then adding my chicken. Super, super easy. Okay, just changed my clothes, did my hair. I never wear my hair like this, but the bottoms look fine. The top of it's really greasy. Did not have time to take a shower after my walk, but it's fine. I think we're gonna um, eat outside. All right, there's me and Charles's dinner. We ate outside on his back porch together. Charles said it was his favorite meal that I've made, which I felt very extremely proud of. Okay, good morning, guys. It's like 12 in the afternoon. I literally fell asleep with all my jewelry on. I'm so tired, but I'm finally gonna make breakfast. So let's make something nice and quick and then I gotta go to the grocery store because I am running out of food. Granola, this flavor, I don't know if I love it. We'll probably recommend their cinnamon raisin flavor. We have blueberries, oatmeal, bunch of granola, agave on top, and then just gonna pour in some cashew milk now. It's so like one side's oatmeal kind of and one side's cereal. Okay, so I just finished it, but I'm still kind of hungry. So in just the same bowl, I put in some raisin bran from Nature's Path. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm just getting back from the grocery store. I'm just parked in my driveway. Yeah, I gotta go inside and eat something or else I'm gonna literally gonna starve to death. Okay, now I'm just eating the last tiny bite of my brother's sandwich that he didn't finish. So this is just like veggie tikka masala burger from Trader Joe's, some avocado, spinach, ketchup on Dave's Killer Bread. It's like literally just a bite. I'm gonna eat this the whole meal around until I make a whole nice meal for myself. This is so good. Would highly recommend the veggie Tikka Masala Burger from Trader Joe's. This is what the box looks like. Okay, now for dinner, I am making some chickpea wrap. So this is just chickpea flour, aka garbanzo bean flour. I honestly kind of burned that one. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's smoking. It's not on the fan. It's on! Amber. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm eating my dinner. I don't even like this stuff, but sometimes I just buy seltzer because I'm like, maybe I will like it this time. And then you're always wrong. And then I am always wrong. This one actually tastes fine. This one's peach pear flavor. It tastes fine. So I have a huge plate of spinach. I have all my little chickpea wraps right here. I really like spinach. I can eat so much spinach. I have my guac with a ton of avocados. I also have some vegetables that my mom got me from the Chinese food place that I'll also throw in. And then I have some tempeh and quinoa. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Wow, I literally beasted that. Okay guys, frozen pineapple. This time I sliced it up on a cutting board to make the pieces smaller, and now it's very much <gasps> <bad> quick. <laughs> 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 you smell like SpongeBob. <laughs> no, you smell like chowder. No, you smell like Patrick. It kind of sounds like Patrick. Okay, and then just as a snack, I literally have this whole pound of dark chocolate and I'm eating some of it. I love dark chocolate. This is kind of lame, but I had multiple bowls of cereal. Literally had two of those bowls plus a bowl of Raisin Bran. Oh. Okay, and then the next morning I had a green smoothie, typical green smoothie, the same recipe that I've been using all week. And then I'm just having some popcorn as a snack, adding on some of the Trader Joe's vegan chicken salt since it's very tasty having some bark thins that I got on clearance from Target. Okay, now I'm just eating a little smoothie bowl. The same blue smoothie that I ate a while ago. It's getting really melty because I've been taking my time like cutting up my fruits and stuff. I have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and then I'm just gonna eat it with some Kamu Puffs on top of it. And it is very good. I love Kamu Puffs, so I just piled on a ton. Okay guys, me and Amber were just eating this peanut butter. I'm literally like eating it off of a knife, but it tastes so good. We just got it from Target. Okay, I just went on a walk. It's like starting to get dark out, but I'm still eating, well not still, but I'm eating bark thins again. Eating my famous balsamic vinegar plus a tomato and also just eating some crackers and hummus as one does. And then having a chickpea salad for dinner. Smashing the avocado also and it's perfect.
thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed today's video once again make sure to check out all of my recipes links blah 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 down below in the description and let me know if you want to see any more videos like this i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to double tap the like button double tap the subscribe button and of course make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe and i will see you guys next time peace